uh, one of the most remarkable aspects of, of human life is that we have 80 billion brain cells, 80 billion neurons. That's a huge number. It's roughly equal to the number of trees in, in half, half of the U.S. It's incredible. And, incredible. But what's really remarkable is every one of those neurons can get a really big voltage. Psychiatry calls it a, a potential, a resting potential. Mm -hmm. Before it fires, the voltage is really high. In fact, if you, even though you've got 80 billion of them, if you took 20 of them and strung them together in series, you'd have enough voltage for a flashlight battery. It's remarkable. It really is. Now, it turns out that there are more than 200 genes that collaborate to enable this, to enable this, these voltages. And what we what we found is that if you have uh, environmental insults that can change the epigenetics, that can that can permanently change. Uh, if you have an insult, which could be uh, emotional insults, we now know that emotional trauma can permanently change gene expression if it's really severe. That's what happens in post-traumatic stress disorder. So high stress environment. It can permanently change gene expression, change your brain chemistry, your body chemistry, and and maybe a hundred genes will start misbehaving. And so that's the onset. And uh, and what happens is that it causes part of the brain to no longer be able to get the full correct voltages. And when you have uh, less than normal voltages, that means mania. Interesting. It's mania because the 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 you don't need as much neurotransmission from other other neurons to make a cell fire. So you that's that's well known. If you if that voltage were to drop for any reason, you would have mania. So that's why mania begins. To watch the full episode or to subscribe to the podcast, click the link in the description or visit us at neurohacker.com slash collective insights.